liver plays a huge part in hormone metabolism. So we have to start there. We have to make sure that your body, your, your liver is healthy enough to be able to metabolize hormones properly. Uh, you know, there's, there's one test that I really like, and I've used it personally myself, because hormones can fluctuate throughout our lives. And especially with women, we do see monthly fluctuations, and that's normal, it's natural. Then after a certain age, you know, things start to change, and that's normal, that's natural, it should happen that way. And, and men actually do have fluctuations as well at a certain age. Um, things like testosterone goes down. And again, it's, it's normal, it's natural, but with men, testosterone should m remain rather constant. Whether with women, estrogen does go down because it's for reproduction. It actually fuels that whole system. So depending on where you are in your life, male, female, we must start with the liver. So if you feel like you're having any sort of hormonal issues, I would highly recommend, again, the 21-day detox program. But if you really want to get, really, you really want to tailor it to you, there are, there's, there's some testing that's so easy to do, and you do it at home. It's rather inexpensive, and you can order it right off the internet. Um, it's canaryclub.org. This is, they have a kit there called the Advanced Plus. That's the one that I would recommend. You order it right off there. For men, it's the Advance Plus, and you can actually see with PSA, you can actually see that there is one for men and one for women. Um, order it within two days, you'll receive it. It is um, a simple blood spot test and saliva collection test that you can, you can do. And when you get those results back, it takes about a week and a half to two weeks, depending on when you set it off, and you can get a, a perfect profile of your complete endocrine system because you can't look at it in pieces because it all there, there's a whole system there's there's the hypothalamus and pituitary in the brain there's the thyroid you know the liver is involved you have your adrenal glands you have your reproductive organs all these things must be functioning properly in order for your hormones to function properly it's a dance it is a beautiful dance, and unless all of those are evaluated effectively, we're really not going to know where you stand, especially if you're having some pretty significant issues. So, you know, if you if you think you're going maybe through the change, or you know you don't feel as virile as you used to if you're a guy, then then maybe we need to do some further studying to really take a look at what's going on, because it can be helped. I actually have proof. Within six months, I went from having zero hormones. I, I think I was probably neither male nor female <laughs> at that point. My adrenals had completely crashed. I was in the point of adrenal failure. Not just fatigue, not just feeling tired. Failure. I couldn't even make enough cortisol. My body was done. And within six months of really changing my diet, um, doing some supplements, within six months I saw in black and white on this paper that I had actually changed. And not only did I feel better, but I, could, I had proof, solid, objective proof. And I will be glad to share those results with anybody at this point because it's, it was a pretty dark place I was in and now it's pretty awesome. She's done a, a lot of really hard work. There are some, um, some really specific things that you can do if your hormones are out of balance. And there's also some general things that, that would help most of us most of the time. Um, so if you feel like you're really, really out of balance, you're having some really major symptoms, then doing the testing is, is going to be your most logical way to go about it because you're going to be able to see exactly what's going on and then target your approach toward healing the areas that need help. Um, if you're not in that boat and you're just looking to see, like, what can I do to increase my testosterone or what can I do to balance out a little bit of minor PMS, then there's some pretty just general basic things that you can do. Um, stress is a really big one. Yeah. Uh, it can, that can throw your hormones out of balance like, like no other. Um, so managing stress is a, is a pretty key topic about that um, when you look at the topic of hormones and healthy yeah. hormones. Um, your diet is really important making sure that you are not over consuming sugar products that's a big one 
really big. Um, and then making sure that you're getting enough healthy fats. Your hormones are made out of fat, and so if you're not getting enough, it's impossible for your body to make it without the, all of the raw building blocks needed. So just looking at eating real food, limiting sugar, making sure you're getting enough butter, um, avocado, that kind of fatty yeah. foods. Because cholesterol is a building block. You know, if, yeah. if you're, if you're not to get on the cholesterol thing, you know, I get all excited about that. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have enough cholesterol, you cannot make hormones, any hormones at yeah. all. Yeah. And then making sure that your liver is happy, which we've already discussed in some detail, is because of the processing that needs to happen there for all of your other hormones. So those are some really basic ones. Um, there have been some, some really good research about um, balancing hormone levels with proper movement. Um, so mm -hmm. if you have a desk job, it's going to be really important that you get up and move a little bit. And we're going to talk about that in a second too. But it, it can do wonders for regulating your hormone levels. Any questions about that at all? I mean, it's so it's so individual that you know some of the suggestions that we made, I think, can lead you to where you need to go. I just want to make sure there are any specific questions any anyone out there has about hormones in general. If you have any specific questions and you know you you want to come in and, and talk to us about it, we'd be glad to do so. Yeah.